Suppose every box of jelly beans from the game Bean Boozled uh, contains uh, 30 jelly beans, 18 of which are bad tasting jelly beans. So part A, what is the probability of picking a bad tasting jelly bean from the box? Well, this is not a binomial, it's just a straight up probability, part over whole. So the probability of a bad bean, there are 18 bad beans out of 30 total. And that reduces down to three-fifths. The probability of picking a bad jelly bean is three-fifths. Okay, part B. Now notice you have ten such boxes and picked one jelly bean from each box. What is the probability of getting a bad jelly bean seven times? Well, let's talk about why this now is binomial. You're doing it more than once. You're picking from ten boxes. Uh, the probability doesn't change. We're assuming that the boxes are exactly the same which means from each box you have a three-fifths chance of picking a bad jelly bean. That also goes along with the probability doesn't change because again we're assuming the, same, uh, the boxes are the same. And just because you pick a bad bean in one box does not affect any other box. So we have independence. So this is a binomial. So what we'll do here is we'll say we'll have a combination of, we have 10 boxes, and we want seven successes. A success in this case is picking a bad bean. So don't think of the word success as always being a good thing. Uh, you might like bad beans, who knows? Times the probability of picking a bad bean was three-fifths. That was from part A. And we want that to happen seven times. And the probability of not picking a bad bean, well, the probability of picking a bad bean is three-fifths. The probability of not is two-fifths, the complement. And if we have 10 boxes and we want seven bad beans, that we want, then that means we want three that are not bad beans. Putting this into the calculator, I'm gonna clear all that out. We'll do 10 combination seven times, use parentheses here, three fifths, raise the seventh, and then times two fifths raised to third. Hitting enter. We have a 21.50% chance of this happening. So you have a 21.5% chance that from 10 boxes you get seven bad jelly beans. Part C. Considering the same 10 boxes, what is the probability you'll pick a bad tasting jelly bean at least seven times? So because we have the phrasing at least, that means we need to write this in terms of exactly's. That means we want exactly seven bad jelly beans, or exactly eight, or exactly nine, or exactly 10, and we stop at 10, because we only have 10 boxes. The setup for each of these exactly is, is exactly like part B. We are just gonna change the seven and the three. So let me copy down real quick, exactly seven. I hope I have enough room to believe in myself. Doing it, nailed it. And then the or becomes plus. And now for exactly eight, we'll say ch 10 choose eight. 3 fifths to the 8, 2 fifths to the, well, if we have 10 trials and we want 8 successes, then how many failures do you, we want? Scream it really, really loud. I think you said 2. Very good. And then I'll continue on for the next 2. And the last one. That squeaky sound you hear is one of my dogs. They're upset because they're not getting belly rubbed right now. So what would have to happen is we throw that all into the handy dandy calculator. Uh, you can put it in one fell swoop, uh, completely up to you. You should get approximately 38.23%. So there's a 38.23% chance that you have 
um, at least seven bad jelly beans when picking one jelly bean from ten boxes.